Jasper Johns was an American pop artist born in 1930, and he is still alive today. He did many collage paintings of flags, and they're some of his most famous works of art. He said one night he dreamt about painting an American flag, and the next morning he got up, bought all his supplies and materials to begin it. How cool is that, that he had an idea and then created a plan to complete it. Let's take a closer look at Jasper Johns' painting, Three Flags. This painting was done in 1958, before the United States was complete. There, he only painted 48 stars representing 48 states. Alaska and Hawaii had not made it into the United States yet, so that's why there's a difference in the stars. Um, he took three canvases and mounted them on wood, and then he laid down strips of newspaper, and then he put his paint on. His paint was a mixture of color and melted wax, and that's what gives this painting all that cool texture. This painting actually sold in 1980 for a million dollars, and that was the most any painting had ever gone for with an artist that was still alive. All right, let's get to work. We are gonna create our own flag. Uh, some things you're gonna need, paper. Um, I have a ruler, but if you have like a straight edge, you can use a piece of paper. Uh, glue, some coloring supplies. You can use crayons or markers. I have a Sharpie marker here. You could use a black permanent. If you have strips of newspaper or magazines and you would like to use those, you can grab those as well. Like we said in the video, Jasper Johns liked to have um, newspaper down on his canvases first. So you can skip this step or do this step. I actually had a magazine. I don't have newspaper, so I ripped strips of my magazine. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I liked adding the strips because it gives my artwork a little bit of extra texture and Jasper Johns had so much texture the way something feels. Um, if you've done this step I would like you to turn it over and you can go ahead and trim wherever you went off your page. And then make sure all your little flaps are glued down. If you have some little areas sticking up like I did right here, get that glued down. All right, now we're ready to get our um, setup of the flag in here. Now, if you have a piece of paper, I'm just going to put it in the corner. We're on the upper left-hand corner. This is where our blue canton to our flag would be, where our stripes are. I'm just laying this here so I can trace these two lines and get nice and straight. I'll hold that, run it down the side. If you have a square, you can do that as well. But I had this laying around. So there's part of my flag. The blue canton will go here. And then I'll just use my ruler, or I could use that construction paper, and I'm going to draw the stripes. now. It might be hard. Make sure you stop where the, your blue line goes. It might be hard for you to get all 13 stripes in, so that's okay if you don't. Now this one I can go all the way across. I think I can fit one more. I had quite a lot of stripes in my um, magazine. It's going to be hard to tell. Your next thing you're going to do 
is color your stripes. Now, do you need to use red? If you wanna go ahead and use something different, that's fine. You're gonna go ahead and color each of your areas, your stripes. If you wanted to use a variety of materials, say you wanted to use crayon too, you could use this. I left this stripe white. You might even want to let that dry a little bit. My glue has made my paper a little bit damp. Oh, if you have paint laying around, you could grab some paint. What I like is that a lot of these materials are translucent and that means that we can see through them. Maybe on the last one I try a little bit of my watercolors. That's a nice translucent one. So you can use a variety of any of your coloring supplies. What if you had oil pastels? That would be fun. Once your stripes are done, you can do the Canton. This is where we have our stars. I decided to use oil pastel for this one. While we're letting that dry, I want you to think of some patriotic words that we could add on to our flag. Things like um, freedom, uh, brave, I sometimes even think about those songs the, that we sing and the Pledge of Allegiance, what kind of words are in those that might work for our artwork. Um, loyalty. Peace. When you have enough words, we're gonna go ahead and put them on our flag and they all don't have to go the same way. Maybe this one I'll have freedom go here and I can even get fancy with my words, my letters. Maybe I'll go upside down and I'll do loyalty. Maybe do one right here. Brave. All right, you go ahead and finish filling it up however you like. I'm going to add just a little bit more texture to mine. Mine is missing stars, and I was digging through my cupboard. I found some little white letters, and I think I'm going to add some stars onto my flag. Maybe you have bits of paper that you cut out. You cut some stars out. You could even stamp paint on here with a q-tip and then I'll think about maybe I have I have some buttons maybe I'll add some buttons to my 
white stripe here. Remember, texture is the way something feels, and artists need to show texture, visual texture. Um, ooh, I found some feathers. I might go ahead and glue some feathers along the bottom. I might need to trim one of my feathers. So that right there. So think of things that you have. You could even rip strips of paper and do little bits of collage work up here for your texture. Anyways, Jasper John's American flag painting with lots of texture and patriotic words. Enjoy your Memorial Day.